Well, hello, Facebook, and welcome to Let's Do Africa. This is Yvonne Gamble, CEO with San Pete Financial Group. Hello, hello, and welcome. Facebook, welcome again. And there goes one more time. There went my, I'm gonna get it, I'll be right back. There went my mouse. I'm gonna look back and laugh, and I'm sure you are too that we are working from home and I'm hoping that everyone is doing very well with their restrictions on staying at home and looking. Okay. How are all of you doing with this are you very well with this shut-in that we're going through with the COVID-19? Trust me, it won't be as long. History will say it wasn't as long as we thought it was. I'm pretty sure now with what's going on in our families, everything that's going on in our lives, this seems like a forever time. But trust me, it is not a forever time and it won't last for a very too much longer. Let's hope that it doesn't last for too much longer. But what we can say is it's making us all a bit more communicative online and, you know, as opposed to in person. So we're going to be doing a lot of live events. And I look forward to uh, all of you chiming in, you know, on our events. As a matter of fact, this event here actually was born out of the restrictions that we had to actually stay inside and work with one another. And I'm going to make a comment here just to see and say uh, hello to some of my people who were on uh, with me uh, earlier doing my testing. Bylon, thank you so much. I appreciate you. We got everything up and running and uh, we I think we're looking good here. So I'm just going to ask a, a great question. You know, how are you doing? And you can comment in the sections below here. How are you doing? Oh, well, hello, Black Business Women. Uh, Andrea Clay Clinton, she just joined us. Hello. Glad to see you put a comment in, uh, Andrea. So happy that you joined us. few seconds to go. Wonderful, wonderful. Oh, Steve, congratulations. Oh my goodness, she is just, you're amazing. You're studying. Oh, that's beautiful. I like that. That is so nice. And we need that encouragement because a minute ago, it didn't look like this. And you, you understand, I'm sure. So this is wonderful. Um, and so we're going to let a couple more people, you know, come on and get, you know, get in. I know everybody is probably doing the same thing that I was doing. And that is, um, you know, kind of juggling. What's interesting is this, as much as we all do work from home or what have you, when we have to work from home, it's a little bit different, you know, than when we are kind of uh, sneaking away from the office and taking a day off and spending a day at home and what have you. Now it's like everybody's at home, cats, dogs, husbands, children, grandchildren, everyone is here. So <laughs> we're doing the best we can with it. Uh, what I did want to uh, say to you all uh, was, you know, those people who are joining and thank you for all the people who were not able to join, but people, they did give me a nice long uh, laundry list of questions that they had. And I love that. And I will be answering those questions even on this first um, go around today. This is the time, you know, for that because on the Wednesday calls, these are, you know, more or less Wednesdays, you know, kind of, uh, we feature a different African country every Wednesday. And what we try to do is just kind of give you an overview of what's going to be going on and what you can expect and what these countries are looking for. And it also gives each one of the countries, as you know, it's 54 countries. So it gives each one a chance to have their day in the sun 
and we learn about you know what's going on you know with them specifically and what their needs are in some of these uh different countries because as the ceo of san pete financial group i work directly with the companies we're a venture capitalist firm and what we do is we actually do funding you know for businesses entrepreneurs uh here in the united states and throughout the globe and with the African countries, we actually uh, work uh, more directly with the governments and with their needs and what they have and what they're looking for for the whole entire country. So that's why I'm bringing to you these opportunities because I need people like yourselves to actually make the best of these opportunities to actually fulfill the opportunities. Obviously, we're venture capital. We help you find the money. We help you fund the business. We uh, actually bring monies uh, to you, to the table, to do the different things. But obviously, we can't do it ourselves because we're not in all these different industries, and you are. So we do need your help. And that's why I set up the Wednesday call so that you can kind of get a big, uh, a great understanding. And then you can pull and press that information out to your uh, constituency so that they can uh, click on the learn more on the San Pete uh, financial group page. Just click learn more and you'll go there and you'll see all our different seminars and the things we do and the different educational uh, outlets that we have as well as you can go through the website and you can see all the different financial uh, products that we have for you there. So today what I want to do is I want to just take some time and talk about our premier uh, country today. And our premier country today is the Gambia. And the Gambia uh, sits on the western coast, the southwestern coast of Africa, a small country. It sits between uh, Senegal and um, it's uh, right next to that. It kind of shares the uh, the river there, the Gambian River, you know, with Senegal. It's there. So what uh, what they're looking for well, I, let me say this. Let me start. Let me back up a little bit. Let me just say this, that uh, I'm very proud and very happy and hope that this continues for the Gambia. I did take a look at the COVID-19 to see what was going on. And if they, you know, I look at every country to see, you know, how many different cases they have, you know, what they can, you know, what we can expect from them and their country in the Gambia at this to date, it's of um, 3.09 p.m., Eastern Standard Time in the United States, they've only have two cases uh, that they have actually identified of the uh, COVID uh, virus there. No one has died from it. So they are pretty uh, well situated at this point. And that's pretty much been people who have been coming back in, you know, from other who visited other uh, countries, the people that have the uh, cases of it. So no one actually in the country has actually uh, contacted it or you know, or contracted or is passing it around, but they are taking every measure and every precaution. And I would say that to everyone else, you know, just as a uh, political uh, leader, what have you, I would say that please uh, do follow. You know, I know it's it's kind of hard and it's you know somewhat frustrating, but please follow the instructions that you are given. You know, regarding either self-containment or that uh, your different states are having. You have several states around the United States that have been, have closed off their borders. And, you know, just follow those. And then as well as um, the food, the buying, what have you, you have the two hours before, you know, in many states here in Atlanta, they have enacted where the senior citizens can go in and they can purchase their food, uh, you know, two hours prior. And then everyone else comes in after that. They're closing the stores down early so that they can have a time to actually go through the stores and, you know, and clear them out and, you know, clean them and sanitize them. So let's just be vigilant, you know, until we really get a handle and know what's going on uh, with this. You know, don't be afraid. I'm not, you know, a fear factor type person or what have you. I'm a person that deals uh, strictly in facts, and that's generally how finance people are. We deal with just the facts, the numbers, uh, but we do have a heart and a big heart, you know, for people. So I just wanted to share that with you. But getting back uh, to the Gambia, one of the big projects that they're working on right now, and they're looking for expertise. And what you will see is they, just as many of the other African nations, they're calling for expertise from the diaspora. 
Now, let me um, share with you what that actually means. I know some people you know, have a good idea, have a clear understanding, but um, what they are saying is the diaspora, that would be anyone who, wherever you are, not just in the United States, but throughout the world, who is what they consider off-continent. You don't live on the continent of Africa. You live anywhere off the continent, but you associate yourself, your ethnicity, uh, with Africa. So be it African-American, an African living in Australia, living in uh, Hungary, living in China, living in Europe, the UK, living in Greenland, Iceland, doesn't matter. You can be living up on the space station. If you associate yourself you know, uh, with African or African de descent, then you are considered a part of the diaspora. Now, diaspora, sorry about that. The, um, so what does that mean? The African Union divides Africa up into five regions. And the diaspora, the diaspora is the sixth region. So many times you will hear some people refer to it as the sixth region, and then you will hear some people refer to it as the diaspora. And so what they're doing is they're basically calling all those people back to Africa to bring their expertise. And they want to also give you citizenship. So many of the um, countries there, if you uh, follow the news, then you will know that Ghana did a very, very big uh, splash and they did it very well uh, in 2019, where they actually, you know, called, put a call out, you know, to the diaspora for people to come back to do business and to reacclimate themselves to live on the continent and to live, you know, in Ghana and become citizens of Ghana. And they uh, actually honored their word because the one of the things that, you know, it's not a prerequisite that you have to become a citizen, but that is also very good, you know, when you're asking people to come back and to help, you know, is to have a pathway to citizenship if people so desire. But these different projects that I'm bringing to you, you know, as, you know, from Sam P Financial Group to you from these various countries that we're going to be actually discussing over the coming weeks and over, you know, throughout the, throughout the year, all of these are where you can actually, your business, you can do business there. You don't necessarily have to live there, nor do you have to take a residency, or do you have to become a citizen to actually participate? So basically they're looking for people with expertise to actually come and to do these bodies of work. And one of the things that they're looking for is they have a very large electrification project, as you may or may not realize, Electricity is one of the main infrastructures that Africa has a very, um, basically they don't, they, they don't have it. It's, it's non-existent in many areas. If you were to look at, look at a map of them uh, from the satellite at night, it is truly the dark continent and there are a few places that are lit up. And for the most part, it's all dark. And in the Gambia, this is, this is a big issue. And they did uh, receive, they have received from the World Bank a $400 uh, million and they're gonna go up to, that will probably go up to a billion dollar. Um, they basically have a letter of credit from them that says this is how much they will put into them. So the money is there for the projects. And so what they have to do now then, anyone who is familiar with contracting or what have you, what you do is when a bank or financial institution actually sets forth a later credit they say they're going to back that kind that much money and then they're going to actually make that available to that particular country where that particular country then has to come forward with the expertise and the proposals for the work that needs to be done and the people who can actually do the work so that's why i'm actually making a call out to all of you and to all of your constituents to say anyone who is in that area that can actually come in and help with putting in electrical foundation infrastructure. Those are the people that I need to click on that, learn more and to put your name on that list. Let me know what your talents are, what your expertise are, what your company does, what types of ways. Now, that doesn't mean you just simply for just the electricians. That means for everyone, you have to build power stations, have to build pumping stations, have to put wires in the ground, above ground, over ground, satellite systems, uh, computer systems. All those systems have to be put in and then all the peripheral things that go with it. So therefore, if someone has electricity, then guess what? Then they can have those people who have telecommunications can actually come online and now we can have more of that. 
uh, so electricity electrifies everything. This computer that uh, we're running on, we're talking across right now, all of these mediums, everything that we sometimes take for granted, the lights that we turn on um, and we have those, they don't have those things. So all those different types of things will be put in. Now on Thursdays, when we have, and I would like to invite all of you to actually attend to our Thursdays and we have our event set up, that's where we go more in depth and we actually talk the specifics. What does it all entail? What is the access that you would have? What are the particulars about, you know, different projects that I might mention, you know, on the Wednesday tape when I'm talking about the different countries or what have you. That comes to you on Thursdays. Now that's a 90 minute session. We're only here today for about 20 minutes and that's on Wednesdays, we're about 20 minutes every Wednesday, and we just kind of feature a, a country and what they're looking for, and what their needs are, and then, you know, we kind of do, you know, a little bit of chatting back and forth, but on the Thursdays is when we go in depth, and we take about a good 90 minutes, and we talk about access to um, business in Africa, we talk about the capital that you can expect, the, the ways in which that you can get capital for your business, whether you're going to Africa or you need to have capital for your business here in the United States or whatever country you may be in. And then we actually talk about the protocol in the doing business and the due diligence that you need to be apprised of and aware of. So if you sign up for that class, we actually give you a preview of our Financing Your Next Billion uh, book. Uh, we give you a preview of that. That book will actually be um, publicized and will come on board on market in uh, February, I'm sorry, in May uh, 15 of this year, 2020. And we have a preview and we will give that free for all those who join the thirst, who come to the Thursday class. So I look forward to you coming into that class. And then I look forward to you also coming back on Wednesdays, clicking on take 20 minutes, learn about a country. If there's a country that you want to know about and you haven't heard about or you want to know when it's on the schedule, click on um, the learn more and you can go to our contact page or and go to the bottom of that page that it takes you to and give us your information and just uh, tell us in our comments that, you know, what country is of interest to you and what is your expertise and what you have to bring. I look forward to working with each of you as we have to uh, work together to help I want to help one another. Here's a great opportunity. Take advantage of it. We're looking for you. Thank you so much. And thank you. I love, I love, I love uh, Tom Wolf. Well, hello. He just uh, joined us a few seconds ago. Uh, thank you, Tommy. That's one of my biggest fans. That's my realtor for life. And uh, he's he's on board. So if you guys see his name there, you definitely want to click on and talk to, uh, to Tommy. This man can he can he'll sell your house anywhere. And I do know this. Tom is probably going to be one of those when we get to uh, housing is one of the areas that uh, you know is also needed in the Gambia. And so I'm pretty sure Tom Wolf will be one of those uh, salesmen that we can have because we have to bridge we bridge those gaps and he can sell houses. Uh, Remax is in the Gambia and he most certainly can be your salesman right here. So you've got somebody in the United States that you do know and that uh, you know can can sell, can speak to you, can speak your language, you understand, and he can help you make that sale happen if you're looking to purchase a home in the Gambia. So with that, we've only got about uh, another two minutes with this because I did promise you guys 20 minutes and we would be uh, off. But every week, we're going to be here on Wednesdays and we're going to be uh, highlighting a different uh, country in Africa with the needs that they have. Our highlight today that we had was Gambia, was the Gambia, and we talked about their electrification project and many other projects. So we'll, we will be bringing to you uh, the Gambia once again. And this is something that it's not needed just for one particular area. It is something that is needed throughout the entire country. So you can see that the opportunity is vast, is great. And not only that, that's also something that we will be looking to take the same expertise, the same group of expertise, and put uh, that on other projects, as you will hear, many of the other nations also need this. And housing is one of the areas that they really need help in. They not only need the sales of housing, but even more importantly, they need the development of housing. And we're looking to those people out there 
who have green uh, environmental type communities that they like to build, that they like to put forward, they would also entertain and look at those uh, because that's one thing that they do do throughout the continent of Africa is they are uh, very environmentally uh, conscious. So we want to be apprised of that, you know, as we actually take and promote our different uh, services to them. So go on to the, our page and just click on learn more. And then that way you can uh, find out, you know, what we're doing and how we're doing it. And then on our Thursdays, every Thursday we have the doing business. That's our 90 minute and that's our more in depth. And then that way we will have a more interactive where you can actually ask questions back and forth. And, you know, I'll be able to answer those questions. And we'll be talking about access to the continent funding for your current projects or projects you may be thinking about doing so that you can bring your expertise to Africa. And then we'll also be talking about the different protocols and the regulatory, because we have made it so that the countries we will be talking about and featuring here these first few months, those have already uh, eliminated the uh, regulatory barriers so that you can get into those countries and get yourself started and going right away. So I look forward to it. I thank you all for uh, coming and I will talk to you tomorrow. Thank you and take care Facebook and be safe, clean your hands, don't touch your face and just, just be safe out there. Just pray because hey, God's got us. All righty, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.